Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, our video today is going to be a mix between a haul video and an unboxing. Uh, I'm not sure everything that I got today because I went to an auction. I haven't been in about six months. This was a lot of fun for me. I was only able to stay about half the time, uh, but the car was already full in that time, so maybe that's a good thing. I spent $73.50 on bids and then 10% buyer's premium, so I spent a total of $80.85 this morning. The main reason that I went was I know this auction house will auction off totes, uh, like these bins right here. The last time I went they were all full of crafts. Uh, this time most of them are empty and they just auctioned them off. So I got 12 totes with the lids, all these plus this one. And I paid, well they, they divvied them up into six stacks and I won the first bit of $5 and I just said I wanted all stacks. So I paid $30 plus 10%, so $33 for 12 bins comes out to a little bit less than $3 a piece, which is fine by me. That's a really good price and I don't have to worry about buying them new. Uh, let's see. The first thing I bought was uh, this hat. I didn't really want this hat. Um, how this auction house will work is they either pick up a stack of things or one item at a time and if nobody bids they just keep adding until there's some interest. So uh, this hat will probably just get donated. Uh, I got this little bird cage also with the same lot that I paid $12.50 for this stack. Uh, so I got the hat, this bird cage uh, will probably get turned into a craft or something. My grandma might be able to do something cool with it. And this beach house sign, which I really don't want. It'll go up on Marketplace. If it sells, cool. If it doesn't, I'm okay donating it. Uh, because what I really wanted was this birdcage right here. Uh, it is a little beat up. It's not in perfect shape, but I can work on it. And this is going to go upstairs on our landing, and I'm going to keep little plants or succulents in it. And just adds a little bit of elegance to it. I've been wanting one like this for a while, but you may find them at antique stores or yard sales or something. They're quite a bit more. So for $12.50, minus whatever I can get for the other items on Marketplace, I'm really happy with this buy. And the next thing I got was also something practical I've been wanting for a while. Uh, it came in the soap, which doesn't have a lid. Um, there was a DJ's house that they were selling. So there were a bunch of foggers and disco balls and that stuff and CDs. Now, I don't know when CDs got popular again, or maybe there's just some people that are still like them. Uh, but the boxes of CDs were going for insane amounts of money. $15, $20 for a little box of CDs. These are full. I really didn't look at these. Um, these are like popular radio mixes and tracks. I guess that way they didn't have to buy the whole artist album for one song. So I got this binder, this one, and this one, all full of CDs, uh, which I don't want. I will probably try and list them on Marketplace for a couple of bucks. I really don't think they'll sell unless I'm lucky enough to find a DJ that uses CD still instead of just their uh, iPod. And I got some kind of shelving unit that I really don't understand. I feel like it's missing a part. Um, so I paid $12.50, I think. Yeah, I paid $12.50 for this box, and all I really wanted out of it were these cases that cost. Uh, like this one's a nice leather one. These cost about $25 a piece at Walmart and other than he had to see them, they're in really great shape. They weren't thrown around or used by a kid or anything. Uh, and I keep our DVDs and video games in those instead of keeping all the cases. So another practical buy. $12.50. I might build like something for the CDs. Probably will all just get donated. Uh, but that comes up to like $4 a case. Uh, the next thing, David actually got this. We got this jar uh, and this box of Make It Toys 
for five dollars. Um, I don't think anyone else bid on it, but I think he was really excited. So as soon as I got down to five, he just bid on it. That's just a paper towel. Let's see what's in here. So it's just an old toy box. Got the instructions. Um, they are taped up a lot. It looks like this thing got a lot of play. Must have been pretty fun. And actually there's no toys inside, so I'm glad we didn't actually want the pieces. There is a little pill bottle with a metal lid. That has nothing inside it. So anything you have an auction, you are allowed to go early and dig through everything, um, but you don't see everything and sometimes you end up thinking this is full and it's empty. Um, but actually what we bid on was in this little bitty jar, there was a tin that David wanted. It's Wynoids Wyeth's Hemorrhoidal Suppositories. Allay inflammation, restrict bleeding, prevent infection, and control pain by John Wyeth and Brother Incorporated. It's a, actually a physician sample. Um, easily inserted, readily retained. Um, it is empty, but David collects little medical tins. The more interesting, the better. So we got that one. This is what he wanted. He normally pays about $5 a piece for these, so $5 for everything was fine. Um, we've also got some little church pins, uh, a Reagan campaign button. What else? Uh, a coin that says happy anniversary. And the whole world is going to pot. Uh, yeah, so that kind of works now too, doesn't it? And I actually don't know what that is. We've got a home nursing button, uh, an Illinois pin that says zero on it, and a very tiny graduate with a cross on it. There's more. And Welcome Legionnaire with like a ripped up ribbon on it. Don't open this door. It's better at Duff's Smorgasbord where the extras dot 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 don't cost extra. It's a hell of a selling point. That's actually a magnet. It's a little advertising magnet that's worth a couple bucks. I don't know what this is. I'm a WIBV fan. Uh, he lives. It's got Jesus on there and then a little actual cufflink uh, of the flag. So again, we just wanted the tin for $5. I can probably sell that box for a couple bucks and then these pins, um, they'll go. They'll go on Marketplace. They'll probably sit for a little bit, but someone will want me to ship them and that's really easy to ship. So that was a good buy. Okay. Um, the last thing I got was utensils. Actually, auctioneer kind of gave me some grief because he, uh, I told him I was leaving early that day and he was surprised to still see me there. I paid $2 for it, which was the lows they were going and I didn't want to wait for them to add more on because the next thing in line was pretty cool. I didn't want it, but it was nice, so it was going to go for more. There is a bunch of classy utensils. Well, those are open. Uh, but the rest of this box is still full. We use those from time to time for lunches, so that's fine. I really just wanted the silverware in here. It's not silver. I wanted the utensils in here. Some knives. Spatula. Like I said, a lot of this will get donated, but I'll pick out what I want. And for some reason, we always lose teaspoons. Only teaspoons. All of our other spoons stay. Uh, so I just got the silverware because we needed some. And two bucks is cheaper than you're going to buy at the store. Um, so none of it's silver. They have those all separate. It's just mix match utensils from the house that they cleared out. 
This is a metal one wrapped in plastic. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting in here. Really, really beat up KitchenAid. That's probably trash. Knives. Why are these all in plastic? Like, why are these so special? And butter knives and some teaspoons, finally. Classy work tablespoons all the time. Uh, I know some people think it's gross to use, use utensils. I wash them really well. Uh, in my opinion, when you go to a restaurant, if you're using a used utensil that somebody else has, only this way you can actually wash them yourself. So that's what I got for that. These are so special. They're wrapped also. Uh, it also looks like there is some seashell soap and a little starfish on a coral in there. Those will just get donated. Today was mostly practical. Those are really good prices. And I also bought two boxes of picture frames for four dollars. Um, there were some old wooden frames in here, which is what I actually wanted. This one I didn't realize doesn't have glass. Uh, it's like a boat print. It feels like a print on wood somehow, not painted. Um, so that was one I actually wanted. It doesn't have glass, I'm not sure what to do with it. These are kind of nice. I know they're artwork, but at some point the frames are nicer than the painting with the paper inside. Uh, so I use these to reframe with like large fan pictures. Let's see what else we have. See, it's, it was the, this was the same house as the utensils, so I guess this was probably in their bathroom with their seashells, soap. Um, these, the ones I don't want, will just get listed on Marketplace. This is a little wooden clap that I could probably refinish into something from it. Um, picture frames, I when I have them, I get rid of them. I put them for really cheap on Marketplace, especially if they're sort of a similar look. Um, so like this one and this one, if you put them together, they're probably not going to sell well on Marketplace. But if you have a bunch of all black or all silver ones and you post those together, someone will be able to get a full house full and they'll buy them. See, these are all just going to go marketplace because they're not really my style that I have in the house. And this is the instructions to some kind of Yale to you. It's like a pin pad lock. And actually, that's what's in here. So they just picked this up and threw this in the box of picture frames. That's not what's in here. So this is why if you go to an auction and you actually want to bid on something in a box, you should open it up and look at it. This was their old lock, um, which does absolutely no good to me. So all the parts aren't even there. So I'm glad I didn't bid on this box because I wanted that. That's probably just going to be garbage. Got my hopes up that I have something cool in there. But I'm happy with the picture. This box is also part of the $4 picture frames. Again, I will separate these out by style a little bit. Um, sometimes if I have an older frame I get from the thrift store and it's broken and needs glass, I'll also just take glass out of a newer, uglier frame. Got some matching little ones. See, these will all go well because someone will like black frames and want to get enough to do their whole house. Black pictures. Two more. These. You know, I actually just saw one of my Facebook friends asking where to get cheap frames this morning, so I might just see if she wants these instead. Really big ones. Oh. More mail. Oh, let's see where they live. Okay, so they live in a town about 10 minutes from here. And some 
drinking pictures. This kind of stuff, if you like the frame on something, don't be afraid to rip out the artwork and reframe your own stuff. It's just going to go to waste because art gets outdated. Like, big box store art gets outdated really quickly, but sometimes the frames are really nice. So if you like the frame and it's at a thrift store or an auction, don't feel afraid to take out the art. It's not the classic, it's not brand new. there are thousands of. So these are mine that I'm keeping. And the last thing I bought, the last thing we have to talk about, they have it listed as dispenser slash coffee pot slash game slash etc. for seven fifty. dollars uh, This was kind of annoying to drag out to the car, but I wanted the last thing they put on the lot. So again, they grab one thing at a time. Who wants it for a dollar or two dollars? Nobody would bid on it, so they kept adding it. And the last minute they added something I wanted, so I had to bid up. Um, these came with the 750. I am going to put these on Marketplace. It's really clean inside. Enamel one. Um, okay, that one's a little bit gross inside. A lot of times people just want to put it on the shelf anyway. I should be able to get my 750 back just from these two on Marketplace. If not, then they will in one of the totes for the flea market. This was also in there. I will just donate this. Uh, a lot of auction houses, they don't care or they tell you it's okay to leave the stuff you don't want, but then they have to get rid of it. So I'd rather just take it off their hands, be polite, I'll donate it or find somewhere for it or throw it away if it's actual garbage that they missed. Um, but these will just get donated. Someone will want them for a party or something. I'm not going to leave them there for them to clean up my mess. Let's see what else. These are what started the bit that nobody wanted their dispensers. Um, I think they're kind of, they smell terrible and one of them's kind of moldy. So I'm not sure those can be safe. Those are kind of nasty. I'll just take a look at them and see. Okay. Um, well, this was used, so I guess it works. It's a coffee grinder. I guess there's coffee in there still. Oh, there's coffee in it still. A lot of coffee in it still. That's great. Uh, I don't want this. Again, it was just something they kept adding to because nobody would bid on those drink dispensers. And this tote is one of the ones I got in my lot. But I just use it to throw my stuff in. We also got a puzzle. How many people still do puzzles? I don't have any deals big enough in my house to do a puzzle on, really. And it's not sealed, so it might all be there. But they have the pieces they put together in a puzzle. Like, that already together in a baggie. My mom used to do that, so you wouldn't have to redo the parts you already did when you clean it up. Also, we have some school multiplication practice cards. Those will get donated. Uh, decks of cards. I don't really use these. Uh, I'll probably give these to a teacher friend of mine. She puts stuff in her treasure box for her kids. Um... I think we have this game, LCR, it's like a, oh, maybe we don't have this. Anyway, it's a little dice game with chips. I like to look at it, see if it's really fun to play. Uno, full set of Uno. We already have Uno, so. Uh, maybe I'll put a marketplace with all of them together, probably just donate it. And, what's this? Santa cards, sir. Two sets, full cards, they're opened, so we'll just donate those. Somebody will want them, maybe. So many people have decks of cards now, because they're all different kinds. Everyone has, like, two sets. Alright, this is called Pass the Pigs. I think I've played this before. There's only two pigs. I think there's supposed to be more than two pigs. Let's see. Only two picks. 
Oh, you shake it and there. Okay, so the way the pigs land, I have played this before, it's been forever. The way the pigs land is how you score. David loves pigs, so we'll actually probably keep this game and play it. Uh, you don't need the box though, it comes like a little stand, it all goes together. Uh, and then otherwise it's just a shoe box. And this is what I played 750 for that everyone, well I guess not everyone thought I was crazy because other people were bidding on it too. And I'm glad they actually said backgammon because I was talking and missed it. Uh, it's actually a really nice backgammon set with a book in case you don't know how to play. Um, but what I really wanted, David collects dice. So there's the dice that come with it and then for some reason and this baggie were some other dice and that is a pretty old one right there and he really likes the green ones. Uh, so for $7.50 I know I can get my money back and even not it was worth it just for the extra dice that are in this game. Uh, so overall um, it was a pretty nice day back at the auction like I said I haven't been in a few months so it was nice to get back into it. I really like that auction house. It's one of my favorites that I've ever been to. It's definitely my favorite I've been to out here. And they have auctions about once a month, so I think we'll probably go back. Uh, let me know if you guys like this, if you want me to do another video of what I get. Or if it was boring, let me know that too. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, and we're just starting the channel out, so if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks.